Latest image of Chinese J31 prototype conducting test flight has appeared in Chinese social media, which shows electro-optical targeting system on its chin. A new photo has emerged of China's mysterious stealthy corvette, which resembles the Visby class corvettes from Swedish firm Saab, and the mast located above the main superstructure, bears some resemblance to Japan's Unicorn stealth antenna system. Bharat Shakti has released a video showing the release of Astra Mark II missile from the new ejector launcher. The Indian government has partnered with the Indian Institutes of Technology and the Indian Institutes of Information Technology to train its inaugural batch of 350 cyber commandos that are set to be commissioned next month. India has issued a no time warning for a designated range of 75 kilometers, indicating an upcoming test of a surface to air defense system. Experts have said that the introduction of S-400 and indigenous LRSAM will force Pakistan Air Force to operate further away from the Indian border, reducing the effectiveness of its air power. The third edition of the India-US Indus X Summit will be held at the Stanford University in California early next month, to brainstorm on enhancing cross-border defense innovation ecosystems. The Indian Air Force has successfully tested the Astra Mark 1 air-to-air -air missile in a networked mode, marking a significant advancement in India's air combat capabilities. The test involved two Tejas aircraft, in which one detected and tracked the aerial target, while the other Tejas aircraft operated in a silent mode, and received the target information through a data link, and launched the Astra missile to successfully destroy the aerial target. This achievement demonstrates a substantial leap in operational tactics and electronic warfare capabilities. Indian Navy's PGLR SAM Next Generation Missile System is all set to start developmental trials later this year, and as per latest reports, the PGLR SAM missile will have a range of over 250 km, which is more than double the range of the existing 100 km range MR SAM missile. It will also be able to achieve speeds of Mach 7, that will make it a formidable asset in countering a wide array of airborne targets including supersonic and hypersonic missiles. It will feature anti-ship ballistic missile capabilities, thus providing the Navy with a robust defense against emerging threats such as ballistic missiles that target naval assets. Hindustan Aeronautics has officially submitted a bid for the Philippines Air Force tender to acquire 40 fighter jets, offering its Tejas Mark 1A armed with BrahMos NG missile, a deal that is estimated to be worth between $5.3 billion and $7.1 billion. The Philippines is seeking faster and more lethal multi-role fighters to complement its existing fleet of South Korean F-A-50, and the Philippines government is exploring flexible payment schemes, including syndicated loans from private lenders. Analysts have said, if the upcoming Tejas Mark II fighter jet is marketed properly, it could emerge as a compelling option for countries that are looking for a versatile and cost-effective solution for their air force needs. With global dynamics shifting away from traditional suppliers like Russia and China due to geopolitical concerns and increasing sanctions, the Tejas Mark II is uniquely positioned to capture a significant share of the international market, but only if they are marketed properly. Today's top 3 comments 